Uh, that, uh, wait a minute. We need a better backdrop. Okay, well, a motivational poster about an anime girl telling us to kill ourselves. This, right here, is the Dragon Ball Fighter Z Android 21 Figure Arts. And it's, uh, it's pretty nice. Yeah, I've been waiting for this to come out for about a month since I found out about it while I was browsing on uh, the Big Bad Toy Store because um, there was a 21 statue I was going to get, but then I saw the figure arts and it's much better. And it's cheaper. The box is really nice. Now, it's it's just got some nice fucking designs on there. Go ahead and see what's inside the box. That's the important thing. There we go. But yeah, once again, I, I can't read. I can't read. Is fucking gibberish. Cardboard for the background. Very, Very nice. Very nice is she's a chan. Very nice indeed. But the main meat of the meal. The Twenty-one figure. Fucking hey. Hey. What the fucking oh, oh, I'm a retard. I'm a retard. It's right here. Just grab the sides. Oh, there you go faces. Just look at what you get for the base. Bendable, pretty damn nice actually. Then the hair can be posed a little bit too, which is a neat little touch. But then, we are forgetting one thing. Kinda need her tail, otherwise she's just kinda tailless. What kind of fucking freak doesn't have a tail? If you're an anime character and you don't have a tail, you're, you're just gay, that's what you are. Honestly, her having the tail makes her much easier to pose around and stuff. Of course, first up, we have another face. I believe this is the... Focus. Focus, God damn you. This is the gra uh, munchy face. You know, the regular blue face. Blue eyes and whatever. Another red face. Woo! Most important thing with anything is who could forget about the beautiful hands, you know? Those are just the greatest. I noticed there's a nice little plasticky band right around her boobs trying to hold them up. Well, Take kindly to that. I almost forgot one very important thing. Who could forget everyone's favorite character from Dragon Ball? Donut. Overall, the figure looks really nice. The limbs are quite poseable. Very swivelly indeed. Overall, the figure is pretty damn great. A lot of nice posability going on here. All the leg movement you could ever want. Feet action going on. You got the hair bend, you got the neck bend. Look up, look down. Tail's pretty nice, it's got, but tail's also kind of limited, it can twist and bend around. Overall, I think she's got some pretty damn nice posability, because I got her going on full deal mode right now. But uh, yeah, consider, she's uh, $60, I got her from a GameStop, probably wasn't the best place to buy it, but I was going to get her anyway, saw her there, and I'm like, well, the price could only get higher online, so might as well buy her there. With what she comes with... <laughs> I can say she was a pretty good buy, and I'm definitely happy with this. She's gonna be on my desk right next to my computer, right by Astolfo, and, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you watch more of these videos, I mean... These figure reviews I might not do as often, but, uh, you know. I have fun doing them, and, uh, I could do more in the future if you guys want me to. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and, uh, well, have a good day.